name is Sean Smith with Emergency Visions, and each week I'd like to bring you some of the lesser known stories of the world of emergency management, and here's what's going on. This week is the anniversary of the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, one of the three top disasters that have occurred around this nation, natural disasters, the Galveston hurricane of 1900, Hurricane Katrina certainly, and then this earthquake. This earthquake was a tremendous event for the city of San Francisco, where it literally created 50% uh, of the population to be homeless immediately. It was a 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck San Francisco at 5.12 a.m. on April 18, 1906. And that immediately created tremendous fissures through the ground, buckling of the streets, uh, lots of fires. In fact, the tremendous damage that occurred from the earthquake wasn't just about the falling buildings, but of course the subsequent fires that occurred over several days through San Francisco. But it wasn't just in San Francisco, even south of the area in Monterey County, the earthquake permanently altered the course of the Salinas River, and it literally came out six miles south of its original location. Such a powerful event. Over 3,000 people died during this event, and again, almost over half the population, 250,000 were homeless immediately. And in fact, two years after the event, there were still tent cities uh, and folks living in tents in the San Francisco Bay Area. What you might not know about the event is that Given that over 80% of the city was destroyed, it took a long time for it to rebuild. And in fact, San Francisco was, this, was the center of the American West at the time. And because of this earthquake and the amount of time it took to rebuild, everything shifted south and Los Angeles became the gateway over to Asia and the, and the Far East. Could this happen again? A 7.8 magnitude earthquake? Sure it can. Look at the map in terms of the U.S. Geological Survey. Certainly could happen in California, but also in the Madrid Fault in the center of the section where the buildings aren't built to earthquake code. So if this event occurs, are you ready? In the world of emergency visions, we're ready with a disaster resource management solution that can help provide technologies to assist in the saving of lives and property by making sure the needed personnel and things get to where they need to be. Call on us if you need us. That's it for this week. Tune in next week for another story in the world of emergency management. Thank you.